In the entire state of Tennessee, there is only one county that allows visitors at long-term care facilities. Everybody else, including families of patients in Shelby County, are shut out because COVID-19 transmission rates are just too high. Local 24 News reporter Jenny DePrizio on what that means for families who are separated from their loved ones. We couldn't go with her. We couldn't go inside the facility. And now that she's there, she has to be quarantined for two weeks in her room. David Adams is talking about his mom, Martha. Last Friday, she was placed in a Collierville long-term care facility because of COVID-19 and visitors not being allowed in facilities. The Alzheimer's patient was taken there by a medical transport van. The family had to say their goodbyes, not knowing the next time they'd be together. That's what hurt us the most, knowing we couldn't see her. In 94 of Tennessee's 95 counties, transmission rates are too high to allow visitors to long-term care facilities. Only in Truesdale County are visitors allowed. It's obviously very unfortunate to not be able to have visitation uh, in the facilities. Jesse Samples, executive director of the Tennessee Healthcare Association, says they're working on ways for facilities to manage visitation safely in the future. Samples says in the next 30 to 45 days, all Tennessee facilities should have point of care testing equipment delivered, which will allow them to do testing on the spot for anyone coming into the facility, including visitors. Sample says even though the equipment will arrive at the facilities, it could still be a while before visitation is allowed. But the first hurdle, of course, is to be able to get the counties out of that, of that marker because nothing's going to happen for those facilities in those counties until we get those numbers down. As for Adams, he's doing what he can to communicate with his mother while hoping in-person visits will resume sooner rather than later. Depriving, you know, loved ones of seeing, you know, their family member in need, that's, that's the most heartbreaking part of this. Jenny DePrizio, Local 24 News.